Spam mail has been around pretty much as long as the internet itself has. These days, spam filters tend to catch most of it. But in January of 2012, numerous people living in Japan found themselves targeted by a strange, terrifying mail making the rounds. An email telling them to please go to Inuki Temple. But what was this temple? And why were they being asked to go there? The email began like you might expect any spam to. This is serious, so please read until the end. You are about to meet with misfortune. Then, it suddenly took a turn for the terrifying. If someone visits you in the night, you must not open the door for them. Even if they continue to knock on the doors and windows, you must not look at them. If you are not yet home, then check to make sure nobody is following you. When you get home, please check your post. If you have received a letter without a stamp or name, do not look at it. And when you enter the house, make sure to take great care of what's behind you. This is the most dangerous time. Once you're inside, make sure to lock the door right away. When you enter your room, be mindful of the closet. Does it look the same as when you left? If your curtains are open, close them right away. If you feel something looking at you from the roof while you take a shower, stop immediately and evacuate. Before you go to sleep, make sure you check the front door and veranda carefully. No matter what, you mustn't be afraid. Place your phone by your pillow. That way you'll quickly be able to call for help if necessary. Do not go outside after 11pm. Not even nearby. It will find you in the darkness. Be careful of both the darkness and the rain. You must come to Inuki Temple to avoid this terrible tragedy. Please come right away. I will contact you again soon if necessary. The message gave coordinates to find the temple and was signed by a supposed Shinto priest. Why a Shinto priest would be working at a Buddhist temple is unknown and probably should have been people's first clue that something was up. But as you might expect, people were pretty freaked out upon receiving this mail. Most spam asks for the receiver to clearly do something, or at the very least click on a link inside. But this one did nothing of the sort. It spoke of something terrifying stalking the receiver, and gave clear coordinates to a temple that they should visit if they wished to get help. As far as scams went, this one wasn't asking for money. It wasn't asking for any personal details. It wasn't asking for anything, really. Just to be careful of something, and to come to the temple to receive help. People quickly took to Twitter and Nichan, asking if anyone else had received the same weird message. Turned out, many had. Of course, numerous people attempted to find this temple. The coordinates given in the message led to Tokyo Tower, and the temple was supposed to be located 1.9 kilometers from there. However, nobody could find any such temple by that name. There were numerous other shrines and temples in the general area, but none of them went by the name Inuki. In fact, no such temple seems to exist anywhere, let alone near Tokyo Tower. And on top of that, people weren't even sure if it was called Inuki. The two characters used for the temple name were those of Dog and Demon. Those two characters together don't make any known names, so it's possible to read it in several ways, Inuki being one of them. Another possibility is Kenki. Either way, no temple using those characters existed where the male suggested it would, which then begged the question, why? What was this male hoping to achieve? The message came from various addresses, including Yahoo and Vodafone, 
and had a series of random numbers and letters at the front. Replying to it led to an error that no such address existed. iPhone users were the ones most targeted, but Android users also mentioned receiving the same mail. To make things even creepier, the timestamp of the received mail was often from some time in the future, and the recipient's address was usually different to the person's actual one. But what was the point of it? It wasn't asking for money. It didn't have any links leading to a virus or anything else that might expose vulnerabilities. It was just a plain text message with nothing else attached. It's possible it was nothing more than chain mail, created by someone bored and trying to see how far the story might spread. It wouldn't be the first time. But it's also possible that it was something far more simple and meaningful. Someone was fishing for working addresses. By sending out mass mails at random, the person, or people, sending them would be able to gather a list of working, active addresses that they could then sell to the highest bidder for even more spam. The reason that people didn't see their own address in the receiver section was because the actual addresses were hidden in the blind carbon copy, or BCC section, which kept all of the addresses hidden from those who received it. This is a method often used by those who send spam mail, and by noting which addresses actually received the message, they would know which were working and active at the time. It's also common for those sending spam to change the from address to something that doesn't actually exist, and changing the time to something set in the future is as simple as changing the time on the phone or computer the messages were sent from. Numerous people reported after receiving the Inuki Temple message that they were bombarded with spam afterwards, so there's a very strong possibility that this was the goal all along. Gather a list of working addresses, sell them to the highest bidder, and then move on. Why the person went to such lengths to create such a creepy message is another story entirely. But you have to admit, it got people talking about it, and they're still talking about it to this day. So hey, they must have done something right. What do you think the real purpose behind the mail was? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you again next time.